Coming up, Sarah and Grant jump in the quest and go camping. Conditions could be a bit challenging though. <laughs> Just the last five minutes. Start blowing. Last time, Grunter tried out the new boat and ran into a wee bit of strife. Just lost the shackle pin out of the main seat. In the end, the RS Quest got the big tick. Well, we are at Benmore, and we've had a couple of setbacks already. First of all, we, as we left, we realised that we'd left our dinner behind. What did we just forget, Sarah? Our dinner. Where is it? In the freezer. So there's a little bit of wind. Um, we're going to head down the lake for a night to have a bit of a shakedown, and then we'll head home tomorrow. Adventure on the high seas. Flipping it. Oh, we've made what? 30 metres. <laughs> the start, last five minutes. Start blowing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've finally got a tiny bit of breeze and it looks like it's building further up the lake. So the last half hour we've made it about 200 metres. But I think things are about to hot up, which is good. Finally got some breeze. Oh, we'll come up there. <laughs> this is uh, Lake Benmore, it's our lake. We lend it out to people over the weekends from time to time, but most of the time it's just us on it, not down. And the sun's just gone down. So I'll put in another couple of taps to find the spot to pitch a tent, I think. Just over Sarah's lovely shoulder is the spot we're going to head for for the night. Some unnamed bay. <laughs> uh, we think it's got a small jetty and the odd spot to pitch a tent, so we'll nudge over there and have a look. If we can lay it, it might be a couple of tacks here. Yeah. I'll give us a bit of a wide berth, this uh, rock. Oh, yeah, there's a wee jetty. See you later. Oh, they're sharp stones. <laughs> <laughs> Sharp, eh? So we've made it in and it's the most sheltered little spot ever. So we found a wee tent site just up in the trees and we're just going to park the Twerk Quest in here. And yeah, get teed up. So day two, we have just had breakfast of porridge and coffee and ibuprofen and just going to head for a bit of a walk, it was a bit of a long night, best night the tent always is though isn't it? And so yeah we're going to go and have a bit of an explore in the wee valley that we've just pulled into and get packed up. Once again Sarah was right, <laughs> she's right quite often. Sarah thought we should pack up the tent before we went for a walk. But Grant thought we'd just go for a walk and now it's raining. But don't worry, the tent door's open. Oh, I shut it. Oh. <laughs> 
So we've just seen two wallabies, which are introduced, and they probably shouldn't be here, but they're still quite cool little animals. They live around the side of Lake Benmore here. Oh, there's another one. It might be mum and bubs, I think. We are ripped up and ready to go. Sails up. And now that we've got our wetsuits and jackets and the hats on, the sun's gonna come out, which is great. That's how you guarantee it. And we're just gonna work our way back into another headwind, back to the boat ramp, so it wouldn't change overnight. So we'll just see how much longer it's gonna take us to get back. Oh man, that was painful. We had the wind come out of the south now, which is really good. Got a tailwind. Sarah's having a snooze. As long as the rain doesn't fill in, we're solid. Yeah, she looks a bit murky down towards Ogham Tata. It's going to fade out of the water and get you rigged and head home after a winning little first camping trip. Next time, we do a mission onto Lake Pukaki at the foot of New Zealand's highest peak.